Okay, well now that we're ready to make the changes to our target idle speed, we've loaded up our HP Tuner's VCM editor software and we've loaded the calibration in question. So this is a simple operation. What we're going to do is in the menu bar up here, you can see engine. We're going to click on engine. That brings up the engine section and in the sub menu here, you'll find idle second from the left. Click on idle and right there top left, you're going to find base idle RPM type target idle speed. This is exactly what we're after. So if we click on that, we're going to get our table. So here, looking at the x-axis, you'll notice that we've got engine coolant temperature, in this case in degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for those of you that are in the metric, you can obviously change it by simply going up to the very top, uh, clicking on tools, and then options, and there you'll find that you can adjust it for metric as well. Just be aware that you have to close this table before you make that change. But at any rate, now that we're looking at it again, engine coolant temperature on the x-axis in degrees Fahrenheit. On the y-axis, you'll notice the conditions in gear versus park neutral. And then the subcondition of in gear with air conditioning on versus air conditioning off. Same, of course, for park neutral, air conditioning on, air conditioning off. Now, in this particular case, you'll notice the factory doesn't discriminate with the air conditioning. They leave the settings the same. The only difference is in gear versus park neutral. Now, at normal operating temperature in this particular range here, you'll see that the factory has it set for 550 RPM in gear and 625 RPM below this uh, for park neutral. What we're going to do, we found from our little pedal test that we probably want 750 RPM in gear and around 775 RPM in park neutral. So once we've made those changes, the only thing we're going to do is make sure that we also correct for a little bit of a cold temperature situation. So you can go ahead and make these changes as well for yourself. What you're going to want to do is play with this a little bit. When your car is cold, you want to make sure that you could basically go and test it data log it and you want to look for that stability make sure that the car does in fact run exactly the way you want at cooler temperatures uh, high enough of an idle that it's not going to stall make sure there's stability there but of course the lowest possible idle speed this will help you uh, make sure that you don't have to fight the converter when you're coming to a stop and of course the other nice thing is least amount of fuel use with lower rpm as well as lower emissions so uh, once we've made these changes it's that simple that's all we need to do for target idle speed now the PCM will understand the value that we're shooting for. So once we've made these changes, simple as that, we want to make sure that we run up here, save this. I typically save this as a new file to make sure that I can always refer back to an old file if I've made a mistake with what I've done. So once we save this, basically that's what we're going to do is run up here. We click on right calibration only, download this file to the vehicle, and once it's in there, we'll go back, we'll test it, we'll see what happens. So let's take a look at that now. 